See Charlotte reporter Evan West spoke to a snake expert about what you should not do if a snake mistakes you for a snack. If you see a snake, the best thing to do is to back away from it. Rick Seifert has snatched snakes for 40 plus years. The number one snake that we get calls on is the black snake. And the phone has been ringing off the hook. Okay, thanks. Seifert says the rise in snake sightings is strictly weather related. We've had four mild winters in a row, so there's more bugs, there's more rodents, there's more toads, there's more everything. Well, that's what snakes eat. The most dangerous local snakes are copperheads. They're venomous and dangerous, with a Ballantine man bit last week and a man in Latta Plantation yesterday. Neither were fatal, but here's what you should not do if you become a snake snack. Number one, never assume the bite is not poisonous. Always call 911. Baby copperheads resemble earthworms, and if you are bitten, resist the urge to wash. The venom can help identify the snake and absolutely under no circumstances apply a tourniquet. It traps the venom in one place which can cause tissue damage. <laughs> Curiosity might have killed the cat, but snakes are much more dangerous to dogs, according to veterinarian Natalie Hauser. I typically don't see it in cats. I typically see it in dogs because they tend to be curious, so they'll sneak up on the snake and that's when they will um, attack them. Rick Seifert also says having a black snake in your yard could be considered a blessing because not only are they not venomous, but they eat other snakes like copperheads. In Gastonia, I'm Evan West for NBC Charlotte. All right, another gorgeous day across the Carolinas, but it'll be changing in about 24 hours from right now. Tonight, beautiful conditions, no worries.